And good afternoon, I'm Ann Niebuhr. We begin with our top story, the latest on the new London church spontaneous collapse. News 8's Ken Houston has more on that. An average day at Engaging Heaven Church taking a turn for the worst. Inside at the time of the collapse, church administrator Teresa Times. There was no explosion, there was nothing. It was a wind. So I go outside my office, and they, people were across the hall at City Hall. They were taking photos and they were like, the building's falling down. And down with it came memories dating back to the 1850s. Teresa's office is located in the back of the sanctuary, which is still intact. But a closer look would reveal. I opened up the door and I saw there was chairs strewn around, lots of dust and the main portion of the, the flat portion of the sanctuary had collapsed in. And I could see the sunlight. A ray of hope for Teresa, she survived without a scratch. A lot of people keep asking me about, you know, are you, do you have trauma, do you have this? And I'm like, I'm like, guys, I'm good. And the why are you good? Because of the Lord. Some are calling the collapse of the church the miracle on State Street. You can count the luck involved in this uh, uh, a million ways. The building was empty. There was no services. The building fell in upon itself. I know that I have Jesus Christ in my heart and that I know without a shadow of a doubt that I was protected, that I was hidden in the cliff. Teresa says that she is grateful to be alive and continues to carry out the mission of the church, which is to serve the community. Reporting for News 8, I'm Ken Houston.